Well, despite having a good history of competing in the DaCosta Cup football competition throughout the years, Ferncourt High School hasn't competed since 2007 due to a lack of finances. Now, through determination, the class of the 90s hosted Ferncourt Football Fiesta charity match in April of 2023, where all proceeds were in aid of the Ferncourt High School football program. Tell us more about what's happening this year at the Ferncourt Football Fiesta Charity Match. We have the event creator, Ewan Walden, and planning committee chair, Dr. Camilo Trench. We also have Robert Morris, the team captain. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's begin with the inception. Well, I mean, people don't realize, I think, that to put on a team in a competition, it's an expensive venture. And the teams that sometimes do well are the teams that are, are not necessarily the best talented, or the teams that don't do well are not necessarily the worst talented. Sometimes it's, up, it's simply about finances. Tell us about um, that realization of past students coming together to make a difference. All right, well, thank you. And thank you to the CVM crew for having us. Well, definitely it takes a fair amount of funds to for any sports program, especially football, because you know they have to have training on the dorm mm -hmm. um, for a couple of weeks, yeah. meals, and as you said, the teams that are best prepared are the teams that do well, not necessarily the most talented, mm -hmm. but preparation comes in all forms, yeah. whether it's nutrition, um, equipment, and it takes a fair amount. So our um, alumni stepped in in a big way to get the boys playing again last year. Mm -hmm. And this year we promise it to be bigger and better. And so looking forward, um, this year's competition, what are we to expect? Who is going to be playing in it, for instance? <laughs> well, this year is going to be a lot of fun mm -hmm. to watch for him quote, like a stuck up team. And uh, we just need the support so we can push the, the younger generation forward. And he's one of them. So we're going to do our best to make them happy. And financial problem, they will be good All right. at it. Skip, tell me about what it's like being at Fern Court and seeing the past students coming in and helping. Because past students really do make a difference, don't they? Yes, they do make a difference. Well, I think what they're doing is very effective. Mm -hmm. it, can, it gives the students a sense of identity. Mm -hmm. in the schools. Well, I think because the school have been, has not been playing football for so long, mm -hmm. it's very new to us to be going into the Da Costa Cup. Mm -hmm. But we still have high expectations. Mm -hmm. Now, Saturday, they will be keeping the football fiesta where the past students come and play, including Da Costa Cup teams mm -hmm. and other schools. So I think it will be very effective. Yes. And and so, but right now, as team captain, like what what competitions do you play in? What what kind, how do you keep the football alive um, at Ferencourt? All right, we play host matches. Mm -hmm. We play um, football matches at in sports day. We also play outside matches against other schools. And we, we sometimes we 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 train every day mm -hmm. just to keep okay. that football spirit yeah. alive in the school because mm -hmm. the school was known for football so yeah. we want to keep that trend going mm -hmm. and so finally as we go to the break tell me a little bit about what persons can expect and how they can um, come and support um, this weekend well march 30 this saturday St. is a place to be mm -hmm. and i saw mystic mountain just leave mm -hmm. um so we have in fern court dakasa cup team versus brownstone high mm -hmm. then we have in benfica masters from Lionel playing the Fern Court class at the 2000s team, All we call right. them Team Cheng, All right. and then Team Yellow, which is the Masters team, mm -hmm. um, and Ma um, Yellow, Reginald, Henry, persons like that, mm -hmm. and they're playing the York Castle Masters team, right. and that is a respectful rivalry, rivalry in Centon, York mm -hmm. Castle versus Fern Court. Okay. I don't think they can beat us <laughs> at all, so <laughs> York Castle, who are all of Centon to turn out. Yeah. 11 o'clock, we have food on sale, Admission is just $500. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we want to big up our sponsors. One is out on our chest. Mm -hmm. Many more you can see on the flyer. And of course, the community and the past students, most importantly. Thank so you. show up and thank you. Thank you very much. Ewan Walden, event creator. Dr. Camilo Trench, planning committee chairman. And of course, Robert Morris, the skipper. On the other side of the break, we hit the home stretch. 
with Made in Manchester Expo. We'll be right back.